What's up everyone and welcome back to the MMA Zone. Today, let's get started with Islam Makachev reveals game plan for UFC 280 title fight. In October, streaking lightweights Charles Oliveira and Islam Makachev will square off in a highly anticipated showdown for the UFC lightweight title. The bout will see Du Bronx look to reclaim his former status as UFC lightweight kingpin after being stripped of the belt earlier this year by the Arizona Athletic Commission following a half pound weight miss. Standing in his way, however, will be none other than Team Khabib protege Islam Makachev, who will be entering into the bout on a massive 10 fight win streak. Leading up to the scrap, Islam Makachev revealed his game plan for the bout with the former champion. In his words, he plans to warm up in the first round and feel things out before then dragging Oliveira into deep water in the second and finally getting the job done in the third. The prediction is a bold one given the streak Oliveira has been on since making his return to the lightweight division back in 2017, rattling off 12 straight wins while dropping just one loss to Paul Felder at UFC 218. The pivotal lightweight showdown is is about to take place on October 22nd in Abu Dhabi, where Makachev is expected to garner an overwhelming amount of support. Despite that, Oliveira has plans to pick up the win in hostile territory before then pursuing a super fight with Conor McGregor in Brazil. Waiting in the wings, however, will be top-ranked lightweight Benil Dariush, who is reportedly set to be the backup fighter should either man be unable to compete for the vacant belt. When the two men share the octagon in October, who do you think takes the lightweight belt home? And will Benil Dariush end up stepping in for either man? Or will he fight Marius Gamrat on the same card as expected? Darren Till talks Hamzat Shimaev's disastrous weight cut. Last week saw Hamzat Shimaev suffer the effects of a disastrous weight cut en route to a scrapped main event bout with Nate Diaz. After Shimaev failed to make weight by nearly 10 pounds, many began to question his future in the welterweight division given that he appeared to be completely unfazed by the egregious miss. While many have criticized Shimaev for the situation and his lack of ability to make the contracted weight, teammate Darren Till is now coming to the defense of Boers. During a recent interview with ESPN, the Liverpool native spoke about the extent his teammate went while trying to make weight, saying, I see what comes out did to make the weight. He tried his utmost. I don't want to go into detail about it, but I know what he did. And the right decision was to stop cutting because sometimes, and every fighter will know this, his body just shut down. His body stopped responding at a certain point. Now, okay, it was at a bad point where he was like seven, eight pounds, all right, I don't remember. But what can you do? Till, of course, is no stranger to missing weight himself. The former welterweight title challenger notably missed weight for his UFC Fight Night Liverpool bout with Steven Thompson in 2018 in an incident that marked the second time the gorilla came in heavy for a UFC bout. Despite Shimaev's immediate future being at middleweight and Till admitting that he probably wouldn't advise his friend to make the cut to 170 pounds again, he couldn't help but reveal that he knows Shimaev can comfortably fight at welterweight. Given the situation that played out over the course of fight week, do you want to see Shimaev fight at welterweight again? Or should he take Darren Till's advice and stick to middleweight? And before we continue, make sure you give that like button some love and be sure to subscribe to the MMA Zone for all of the latest news. Tony Ferguson fires back at Daniel Cormier over recent comments. While UFC 279 played out like something out of a movie for Nate Diaz, the night marked a new low for former UFC interim lightweight champion Tony Ferguson, who suffered his fifth consecutive defeat when he was submitted with an arm and guillotine in the fourth round. Following the fight, many expected Ferguson to call it quits given the recent string of losses. However, the Ultimate Fighter Season 13 winner was quick to reveal in his post-fight Octagon interview with Joe Rogan that he wasn't going anywhere. That fueled comments from UFC Hall of Famer Daniel Cormier, who couldn't help but point to Ferguson's steep decline in his recent performances as he questioned whether it was time for the thrilling fighter to finally close the book on his storied career. The comments caught the attention of El Kukui himself, who fired back at DC in a tweet telling the former champ champ to lay off the sweets before talking about him and the future of his career. Ferguson is in a difficult point of his career. After so many consecutive losses, it's clear that his best days are behind him. Despite that, he has a desire to continue fighting. And while he may not be a title contender like he once was, he could use the twilight years of his career to take ideal matchups stylistically in order to give fans some thrilling competitive bouts with opponents like Robbie Lawler. What do you make of the situation? 
Do you think it's time for El Kakui to retire? Or should he pursue fights with other fighters in the twilight years of their careers? Give us your thoughts in the comment section below. This weekend is for you fight fans. We've got UFC Fight Night coming up on Saturday featuring Corey Sandhagen and Yadong Sung. And on the same day, we've got the trilogy matchup for boxing superstars Canelo and Triple G. Our partners at DraftKings are giving all new users an instant win this weekend. New customers who bet $5 on either fighter to win in the Canelo vs Triple G trilogy will receive an instant $200 in free bets. Regardless of who wins the fight, you can use your free bets to bet on other events including the UFC Fight Night. DraftKings has been around for a while now so you should know that your funds are safe and can be withdrawn whenever, wherever you want. For those in a state where sports betting isn't available yet, don't forget you can use DraftKings Daily Fantasy where they've been making new ways to win cash. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and new customers who use the promo code MMAZONE will receive $200 in free bets instantly when they place a $5 wager on either Canelo or Triple G in this weekend's trilogy. That's promo code MMAZONE only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Next up, Michael Chandler expecting UFC 281 fight with Poirier to be a number one contender fight. Recently, news broke that top ranked lightweights Dustin Poirier and Michael Chandler would be clashing at a massive November fight in New York City. With the bout being a major step up in competition for Chandler following his win over Tony Ferguson earlier this year, it's no surprise that Iron Mike wants a title shot with a win over Poirier. During a recent appearance on the MMA Hour, he spoke about the upcoming fight and what it means at this stage of his career while he remains in pursuit of the elusive UFC lightweight championship. I still got my, my sights set on becoming world champion. Um, I think I beat Dustin November 12th. I think I'm the next guy in line. I fight Islam or Oliveira first quarter of next year or summer of next year whenever uh, that fight materializes and I'm your world champion by middle of next year. The plan is a lofty one given that Chandler is set to square off with the number eight pound for pound fighter in the world, Dustin Poirier. While the diamond is coming off a failed bid at the undisputed lightweight title, the former interim champion had previously lost just once in his last 10 fights. After nearly an entire year off from the octagon, Poirier will be looking to cement his place as the lightweight number one contender once again and potentially secure a fight with the winner of October's Charles Oliveira vs Islam Makhachev fight. With just under two months to go until the pair collide in the octagon, the official odds are very close, with Poirier as a slight favorite at the present time. When the two step into the octagon, do you think Chandler will emerge victorious and secure himself another crack at the lightweight title? Or will Poirier play spoiler to his plans and return in spectacular fashion? Give us your predictions in the comments below. Ronnie Yaya out of upcoming fight with Cody Garbrandt. Unfortunate news surfaced this week that streaking American top team veteran Ronnie Yaya was forced to withdraw from his upcoming scheduled fight with Cody Garbrandt in October. The fight was expected to take place on the main card of the UFC Apex hosted event, which will be headlined by a pivotal scrap between Mackenzie Dern and Yan Xiaonan. Unfortunately for Yaya, this is the second time he has been forced out of a scheduled bout with Garbrandt as a result of neck problems. A true veteran of the fight game, Yaya has continued to pick up wins in the UFC over the last decade and route to a 13-4 record that most recently saw him pick up his second consecutive win last November. With Yaya off the card, it looks as though the UFC will attempt to find a replacement opponent for Garbrandt on short notice. Stay tuned for updates as they become available. Now, for our breaking news story of the day, we have Dana White canceling a UFC fight. This morning, UFC fighter Aspen Ladd missed weight by two pounds for her scheduled fight with Sarah McMahon this Saturday. It's important to note that Aspen Ladd hasn't made weight for the last three scheduled fights. What do you think is going to happen to Aspen Ladd moving forward? Let us know in the comment section down below. Last up, Mickey Gall removed from UFC roster. Still could re-sign with UFC. Interesting news surfaced this week regarding Dana White looking for a fight alumni Mickey Gall's contract. According to reports from MMA Fighting that backed up an initial report from UFC Roster Watch, the 30-year-old is officially off the UFC roster after completing his latest contract with the UFC. Despite that, he could still re-sign with the UFC prior to becoming a free agent if the promotion wishes to re-sign him. 
Gall's time in the UFC has been an interesting one. After entering into the UFC with the promotion intending for him to serve as CM Punk's opponent, Gall picked up his second professional win to set up a fight with the former WWE champion. When the two met at UFC 203, Gall picked up a quick first round submission win before then following the performance up with a massive win over Sage Northcutt. Unfortunately, since then, things haven't gone Gaul's way as the grappler hopscotched wins and losses for four years before most recently dropping a TKO loss at UFC 273 to mark the first two-fight losing streak of his career. With a record of seven wins and five losses with the UFC, only time will tell if the promotion chooses to re-sign Gaul. Today's video was packed with some juicy stories from the fight world. What are your thoughts about what's going on in the MMA? Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the MMA Zone to see more videos just like this. See you next time.